This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. I get to Vach and Afrel Chen Chanukah. I want to share a very important vart for the the fifth night of Chanukah. Tonight is the fifth night of Chanukah. The Svarim bring that the fifth ner of Chanukah is Gadol than all the neres of Chanukah, and there are many reasons. We were we would like to offer a very significant reason this evening, and that is connecting the fifth night of Chanukah with the very important drasha given by Rabbi Yosef Engel in the Oitzreis Yosef Jerush Ches, where Rabbi Yosef Engel gave a drasha in Krakow about Lagba Oimer, connecting Lagba Oimer to the Midah of gratitude, and how the concept of gratitude is always associated with the number five. We have a very important share on that called Lagba Oimer, Five Alive, but in honor of Hanukkah and in honor of the fifth night of Hanukkah, we would like to connect that particular discourse and drush of Rabbi Yosef Engel to this night of Hanukkah, and it's very possible, as is pointed out in the Torah of Hagan Rabbi Yosef Engel on Hanukkah, that tens of contrasim and, and volumes of the Torah of Rabbi Yosef Engel were lost, and very possibly in his Chedushim on Hanukkah, Rabbi Yosef Engel made the very same point. Well, let us remind ourselves that Rabbi Yosef Engel um, brings to our attention that the concept of Haida and gratitude is very much connected and associated with the number five. And to bolster this point, Rabbi Yosef Engel brings no less than 36 different proofs. Don't worry, tonight we're going to quickly mention 10 of these proofs. Number one, uh, the Bracha of Maidim, which is the fifth Bracha of Shemana Esrei, other than the main body of Shemana Esrei, Avais, Gvurais, Kedusha, Avoida Maidim. Which number bracha is Maidim? Maidim is number five, associating the concept of Haida with the number five. Number two, the Gemara Brachas, and Avava the Gemara says, Amra of Chabla and Rapuna. Anyone who is Nana, anyone who has pleasure and gets benefit from the Suda of a Chasan and does not gladden him, is violating five Kailais. Shenemar, Kal Sasain, Pekal Simcha, Kal Chasan, Pekal Kala, Kal Oimrim, Haidu es Hashem So we see the fifth koil is the koil of Haidu, again associating the concept of Haida with the number five, and that is why Rabbi Yavo says that somebody who gladdens a chasan, it's as if they are makriv, the carbon taida. That is the second proof. The third proof. The Mishnah says in Avais, Parag Vav, Mishnah Yud, Hashem has five kinyanim. The fifth kinyan is the Beis HaMikdash. We know the Beis HaMikdash is called Migdal David, Olashan of Haida. So the Beis HaMikdash, which is the Makam of Haida is the fifth Kinyan of Hashem. That is a third proof of Rabbi Yosef Engel. Let's talk about the various Midois of the Sphirois. The Hashem Hagadula, Chesed number one. The Hagavura, number two. The Hatiferes, number three. The Hanetzach, number four. The Hahoid, Hoid, which is the Lashon of Haida, is the fifth Mida. So again, that is the fourth proof that Haida is associated with the number five. The fifth proof. When one redeems Meiser Sheni, or Hektish, you have to add on how much? That's right, one-fifth. You add on a fifth. Redeeming is a form of Haida, as the Torah says. Kaidesh Hilulim, or Kaidesh Chilulim we darshan. How are you, how do you bring it to Chulin? How do you redeem it? By adding a fifth. Because Hilulim is a, is a Lashon of Haida, which therefore you need to add a fifth. The sixth proof. Yosef HaTzadik comes out of jail. One of the four people who have to bring, who have to offer Haida to Hashem, is someone who comes out of a base Asurim. What letter do we add to the name of Yosef? The letter He. Why the letter He? Yosef has to have gratitude. Therefore, what letter is associated with gratitude? The letter He. Another proof. Proof number seven. The Gemara in Rosh Hashanah. The Gemara in Rosh Hashanah is Lamed Aleph. Lamed Aleph. On the fifth day, what was created? Oifos and Dagim. Birds and fish. Birds and fish were created on the fifth day. What do birds and fish do? Says the Gemara, to praise and thank Hashem. Therefore, they're created on which day? The fifth day. Another proof, proof number eight. According to the Rif, the Gemara in Arve Psachim, the Rif says, according to the Girs of the Rif, there are five Kaisais. And what do you say on the fifth Kais? Says the Rif, According to the Rifts Girsa, Halal Hagados, on which Kais? The fifth Kais. Again, associating the concept of Halal and Haida with the number five. Uh, the ninth proof. 
Of course, Leah Imenu has Reuven, Shimon, Levi, Yehuda. When Yehuda is born, after four, she's up to the number five. What does Leah do? Hapam oida Hashem. So by the number five, um, Leah thanks Hashem. And of course, there are many proofs, but Rabbi Yosef Engel says that Lag Omer is the fifth day of the fifth month, is specifically a day which is associated with Haida. Therefore, let us then say that Hanukkah, which the main purpose of the Yom Tov of Hanukkah is Halal v'Haida. In fact, we've mentioned that the Gemara, when it talks about the Yom Tov of Hanukkah, all it says is, there, therefore, L'Shana HaCheres Kavim Asam Yamun Tavim B'Halal V'Haida. Haida? The Gemara doesn't mention the, the mitzvah of lighting the Neres of Hanukkah. It just says Haida. Well, how do you fulfill Haida? Interestingly, the Rambam doesn't mention Haida. The Rambam says Halal and lighting the Menorah. Says Rabbi Tzalo Jalti, says Rabbi Shon Zaman Orbach, if the Gemara omits lighting the Menorah and only mentions Haida, if the Rambam only mentions lighting the Menorah and omits Haida, it must mean Hainu Hach that the way that we express our haida is by lighting the menorah. Therefore, since, as Rabbi Yosef Engel teaches us, and he's brought, we've mentioned 10 rayas, there are up to 36, possibly even more proofs, that the concept of haida is associated with the number 5. Therefore, of all the nights of Hanukkah, which night do we express the greatest haida to Hashem? That's the fifth night of Hanukkah, the night of Hoid, the Midah of Hoid. The, the night of Moedim, on the Yom Tif of Haida, the greatest expression of Haida is on the fifth night of Hanukkah. So here we are, it's the fifth night of Hanukkah. Probably we've already lit the Menorah. Mine is still burning, but even if not, it's still the Yom Tif of Haida. And as much gratitude as we have throughout the Yom Tif of Hanukkah, let's have a special extra dose of Haida today, the fifth day of Hanukkah, the number associated most closely with the concept of Haida, and as always, Toiv Lahaida Hashem. It's always good to thank Hashem, especially on the Yom Tif of Ulazamer Lashimcha Elyain, especially on the Yom Tif that we sing to Hashem Elyain Al Yavan over Yom over Yam over Yavan, and the Zchus of having Haida to Hashem, we should be Zoycha to life, because Bechal Hachayim Yedu Chasela. Thanking Hashem is most closely associated with life. We say, Mizmar Shechan Yosavai Sa David, Ma Betza Bedami, Berinati Oshachas, Yvon Hashem, don't take us away from this world. Hayoy Decha Afar, because in this world we're able to thank you. May we all be Zoycha, Shnas, Chaim, Toshalem, Lanul Chal Yisrael, Amen, Afrilach and Chanaka. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.